Hello folks and uh, welcome to Armand File Front or Lock and Load uh, Part 6A. Uh, we're finally taking uh, that green submarine we had the last uh, mission firing deck guns off of. Uh, and this is the game's first attempt at submarine warfare. Uh, they only use this setting one more time and I've highlighted it in a different video. Unfortunately, uh, this was a horrible first attempt at a sub game. And the reason that I'm saying that is they make you way too low health uh, to do anything. Pretty much like three shots and you're dead uh, sort of situation here. Uh, the sub controls are a little bit different than what it is in Team Assault, and uh, I prefer the Team Assault a little more. They made it a little more friendly, uh, but they did make it a little too easy at the same time. But uh, definitely have to say this is a lot harder than the uh, Team Assault version. As you can see here. Uh, this is like my fifth, sixth, or seventh attempt at this dang thing, and uh, I'm having to save state fight through this, and this is a manual playing level. Uh, that's and like I said, the it's the submarine controls aren't that bad. It's just that the damage that you receive is way too high, and. Uh, they give you such a narrow window to dodge in. Uh, the enemy submarines can take two to three hits. Uh, the little turrets up there take one hit. Um, pretty much what I had to do is I just uh, bull rushed through it and uh, pretty much got there. But like I said, as you can see here, I'm still getting pwned and having to save state abuse through this. Uh, if you s still are interested in watching the video at this point, feel free to watch. If not, I can understand because this is not the best quality video I could come up with and this is the best I could do on this mission. Uh, and like I said, it's not due to the tank, the submarine controls, it's just due to the pure damage of it. Like that one right there took a whole one-fourth of my life there. It's just ridiculous. Um, but uh, pretty much I'm going to be babbling about other things from this point on because I'm quite sure that you guys don't want to hear me ranting and complaining about how uh, stupid the damage levels is here. Uh, the lead sub does have a difficult AI you have to uh, fight against. and uh, you'll be seeing the tactic, and it's pretty cheese ball. And yes, I do have to save state abuse even through that. But um, like I said, I don't, I don't know why they made it too hard like that, but they did, and we'll just have to deal with it. Uh, first thing I want to get off my chest, uh, though, while I had two new subscribers, uh, it's pretty good, and I got one. Other subscriber, uh, leaving a total of three. Uh, the only problem is that two of the subscribers seem to be people who just want to add people or and subscribe to people just to increase their own views. And they're talking about uh, one is a book on management, and another one is uh, health and wellness, and um, they haven't really said anything of what they liked or didn't like. Uh, the health nut said good vibes or something, but nothing particular. And uh, I really don't like that. Um, I mean, I was talking to a few friends of mine in another game. They said all they do, all people like that do, is they just add to uh, increase their own views. And, and I just wanted to kind of gripe about it. Uh, So if you're watching this and uh, you notice that your comment was deleted, uh, that's probably why, because uh, 
I'm sorry, but it sounds more like you're promoting yourself and not really wanting to, you know, talk. So, anyway, uh, I did have one other subscriber, and his name is like a whole bunch of garbled letters all over the place. Like, and I'm not even gonna bother to uh, type to say it. Uh, I'll probably do and give his name in the video descriptions. Uh, but he seems to be a fan of the World War series, uh, and was commenting a lot during the World War uh, LP. And uh, he was the only one who played the mini game of Identify the Beach that I had in uh, World at War. Him thinking it's either Sword or Juno Beach, like I said. If anybody else wants to play that mini game. Uh, Please feel free to play to watch my uh, World at War. I believe it is part uh, 15, 16, uh, and try to identify the beach. Uh, but anyway, I figured I'd give him a shout out. And like I said, I apologize, but your but your you know your SN is kind of weird, and I, I can't really say it. So. <laughs> Uh, well, I, but I will give you a shout out and say, hey, uh, pretty much there. Um, no, nobody really did any voting for my townhouse stuff. Uh, that townhouse mon, I mean. So I was a little bummed out there, but it's fine. And uh, I figured I would uh, kind of just kind of slow down a little bit on my videos. Uh, pretty much kind of, well, see, like I said, he, and this is the sub I was supposed to be killing, and he's a little bit ridiculous, see? He fired, like, three shots to my one shot. A little silly, isn't it? And then there's a lot of times I kill him, and he kills me at the same time. Uh, but... Anyway, uh, if if anybody who's new to watching my channel or whatnot, like I said, sorry, this video just doesn't isn't covering a lot of anything, and it is me dying over and over and over again trying to get this mission done. Uh, go to uh, Mirror Jet's channel or uh, Mag Shay's channel. Uh, Mag Shay's a beginning LP -er and uh, Mirror Jet does. Few uh, YouTube poops and uh, video game remixes. So, if you're into that, go ahead. Uh, believe that uh, nothing much going on there. I've also been playing a couple rounds of It's War. Uh, there's really nothing much to screenshot on that one to show you what it's about. It's a text based shooter. In other words, uh, basically, you click on everything. It's a browser game, but it's all in text uh, with uh, 30 second turns. Like I said, uh, for those who are graphic junkies or whatnot, mm, probably not for you, but if you like a game where you can just sit down, talk to people, uh, have at it. A lot of the player base there is European. Uh, there are a few uh, Middle Eastern players, a uh, few players that are currently deployed in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, I believe there's one or two in Asia. Uh, but most of the player base is either in Dutch or uh, England players. So uh, go ahead and give them a try. Uh, it's www.itswar.net, and like I said, uh, if you're into graphics and stuff, might as well go elsewhere. Uh, but if you're into that sort of thing, go ahead, or just want to try something obscure and different, go ahead. Like I said, uh, keep expectations a little low, but it's a fun game. You just got to give it some time. Anyway, we're nearing the uh, final part of this battle, hopefully. Like I said, uh, this sub here takes like six or seven hits for some reason, and you basically have to time your strafes just right, 
and the enemy ship can go higher than your ceiling, uh, meaning your boat can only go so high, and he's like above it. So you have to really work your shot in and hopefully hit. And unfortunately, your torpedoes can detonate his torpedoes, and same with his and yours. So you have to make sure not to hit the tor torpedoes of each other. Uh, like I said, it's a pain in the butt. But there's only uh, one more video of this, and then the blooper reel. Uh, so, uh, like I said, uh, Sorry, there's been a lot of aggregation and frustration in uh, Final Front. And, uh, I know that there was a few issues, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And there's one more Army Man game in the series. I mentioned this last video, but I'm just plugging in again just to let you guys know I'm continuing the World at War series, uh, which is Team Assault. It's not along the storyline, but it's next on the list. And... Uh, well, later.